We are so used to living in a world of man-made production that we often forget just how elegant and useful nature's designs can be. Don't believe it? Just take a look at the world around you. Chances are, you'll see an example of a design technique known as biomimicry. Biomimicry is the imitation of elements of nature to solve the problems we humans face. Think of Velcro, the stuff we use before we learn to tie our shoes. In 1941, Swiss engineer George de Mestral went for a walk in the park with his dog. Afterwards, he noticed that burdock seeds, spherical seeds with tiny hooks, were clinging annoyingly tightly to his dog's coat. It was inspired by this to create Velcro strips. One lesser known example is a soundproofing system that helped keep noise from the Japanese Shinkansen bullet train at an acceptable level. When the train travels at high speeds through tunnels, it creates sonic booms due to the waves of high pressure that build up within the tunnel. At first, the Shinkansen boom could be heard from 400 meters away. To solve this, J.R. West engineer Aiju Nakatsu was inspired by the kingfisher, a bird that dives into water with barely a splash to hunt for food. He then redesigned the bullet train with a nose in the shape of the kingfisher's beak. This decreased air resistance and lowered the noise level of the train. We know that barnacles and algae grow on ships. Sharks also move in water, so why don't barnacles grow on sharks? This is because the structure and roughness of shark skin makes it harder for them to attach to the shark and thus prevents them from growing. This also applies to bacteria and algae. Scientists were inspired by this design and are working on developing synthetic skins similar to that of a shark through the use of 3D printing and computer modeling. The surfaces have great potential in use in hospitals to prevent bacteria from being transferred through door handles or other instruments, and for underwater robots that require the surface to be absolutely clean in order for them to function properly. Biomimicry works because nature is the condensed wisdom of natural selection over millions of years. Human history is a mere speck in the history of the natural world. With such a rich resource built over time, so readily available to us right now, we should make full use of it. The next time we encounter an engineering or design problem, remember that nature probably has already encountered it and already has a solution for it. It's all out there. All we have to do is find it and use it. Let's make use of nature, who has been here far, far longer than we have.